who are likely to go into IPTV in the in the Philippines? I mean, is it the operators or is it the, the content providers? Who are these groups who are going to be there be there first? Obviously, the <coughs> the people who have the have the cables in the ground. Uh, if you talk about pure IPTV, not not the satellite version. Uh, you need to have your IP infrastructure in place, and that sort of reduces the number of possible players mm -hmm. to those who actually do have that. Uh, however, we, we, we saw in Europe when, when we went and started to dig fiber into the ground uh, in large scale, a lot of new players come up that invested a lot in, in the fiber rollout. Uh, whether that will happen or not here in the Philippines, that remains to be seen. Uh, <clears throat> when you look at when you look at uh, content owners, uh, they might not have the cables, so they might decide for go for digital broadcast TV and or uh, the satellite version of, of the IPTV. Mm -hmm. Or we will see new uh, new relationships forming between the content owners and. The people have the, the uh, possibility to, to actually distribute the IP mm -hmm. information over the Philippines. What, what kind of content are we talking about here? Uh, do, does it have to be IP based or does it really have to be IP based? No, in, in any kind of content can be basically uh, encoded. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll show you uh, one of the racks that we have in, in our lab. The digital encoding basically encodes any of the film media and any archive. So mm -hmm. the, the, the current TV station is broadcast on the analog. I think most of the master tapes are in analog, and the master tapes are in very good quality. So for IPTV, for example, you need to digitize everything. So uh, the, the, the part is encoding. Encoding is, is one part that does, uh, does the digitization. Uh, and Ericsson bought a company called Tamber TV, who's a, who's mm -hmm. a leader of encoding and compression. So we have timber encoders, which they are actually the best the best encoders uh, anywhere else. Um, this has been used by broadcasters all over the place, including broadcasters in this country as well, um, to basically digitize their, their, all, their, all their main contents and their new contents is all, is, is all captured in the digital form. Uh, so a lot of that in actually in high definition form, mainly because they, they, they're still basically downgrade it to standard definition because the current broadcast system is standard definition. Uh, in future, it will go into high def as well. We'll, we'll show you on high def on the LCD screens uh, some of the content that we have that's been digitized. That's, that's basically put on the servers. So what kind of um, business models have you seen lately uh, because of IPTV? Have you, uh, based on your own experience in the deployment of such services around the world? There's a lot of... <coughs> new possibilities coming when you have interaction with the the home uh, theater if you like mm -hmm. uh, there are a lot of new business models coming up of course the, the to start off with the, the most what we are used to would probably be initially this and it would be that broadcast which is means you turn on your tv and you watch your film at a certain time mm -hmm. uh, as you will see uh, you can also decide that if you want to go and cook your evening coffee or whatever, you can stop it and it will stay there waiting for you in the network until you, you go back and continue. So that's sort of <coughs> natural because that's how we are used to use our DVD and VCRs. So that, that's a very common behavior and I think all of us would have liked to see that in the, in the TV. And if, for example, your kids then decide to go on and look, you could go back and you can rewind and you can have and you look at it again. So uh, that would be quite yeah. natural. <coughs> so that's a usage, which, of course, how that would be paid for is, is a different question. And that is for the market to sort out. Mm -hmm. Another <coughs> obvious usage is, is pay per view or, or uh, visual demand, where you decide that now I want to see this film or this sports clip or whatever it is. So I come on that up, go through a menu, have a look, okay, there's my film, and then I start looking. And that's typically very often a fee for, for each time you view it, or you can have some subscription model where you can look at 10 films a month or whatever you like. 
that's a basic behavior which are fairly <coughs> natural to us. Either you go and pick a DVD film out of the bookshelf, put it in your, your player, or you, you get it from the network directly. But then on top of this, you, as you will see some examples of in the demo, you have the, the integration with messaging, which of course means you can also do interactive type of TV, voting. Today, you have TV shows, and then you use your mobile phone to send an SMS to vote for or Philippine Idol, perhaps. <laughs> uh, or you use your fixed line phone. Here you can do that directly from your TV through the messaging services there. <coughs> you can do targeted advertisement on the TV that if you have the profile of the household, you can target if this is a high income pro pro household, you send certain type of, of advertisements. If it's a low income household, you send other type of advertisements. So they are just the imagination that is mm -hmm. the, the limitation here. So the, you will change both in the user side and you will change, see different behaviors also in the operator side or, or content side. So there will be really uh, various avenues of how to make uh, money out of the IPTV. The yeah. Philippines is very innovative when it comes to payment structures for, for different type of services. Mm -hmm. So I think we, we have a good likelihood of seeing the Philippines taking a forefront here when it comes to how do we want to use uh, our services, how do we charge for them to get the money out of a fairly low income market. It's easy in Europe where people have a high income, then they don't really care what they pay for and, and the operators can be a little bit lazy, so okay, I'll charge by ex euro for, for the services. But the Philippines, if you look at the offerings from the, especially the mobile operators today, <coughs> you see a lot of innovations for how they bring their offerings to the market. And there's no reason to believe it will be different for, for IPTV. The same, the same innovation will be seen here. Have you already been approached by any of the operators? There's of course Content a large providers. interest in, in, in the market for, for services like this. The mobile TV is already launched. Uh, it's a broadcast type of TV with no interactivity, but that shows that the operators have an interest in providing these type of functionality. Whether we have uh, other discussions with the operators, I'm sorry I cannot comment. <laughs>